Hello guys, this is Jack from Fox Tech. Today I'm going to show you the Nega quadcopter and the octocopter series. So, but today I'm going to show more details about our new product, the Nega Pro, this one. So, Nega Pro is a newly designed octocopter featuring the eight propellers and eight motors. And this design can give you a very good stability, safety, and performance. So, uh, let me show you more details about the Nega Pro. So first, let's check. It's uh, very, very light. And uh, the net weight is only 5 kilograms. And uh, it features the very good design, molded arms. It's using the full carbon fiber. And each arm only weighs 10 grams. And uh, also the very good design, uh, aluminum seat for the motors and uh, the whole body is using nylon and also the carbon fiber plate so the whole design is a very durable and a very light very good performance and uh, also the flying efficiency is very good so you can see here here it is the 40 the size of the naga pro and you can see how small it is it's so small so I think you may be curious about the flying time of the Naga Pro. I can tell you, and without any payload, the flying time of this octocopter is reaching the amazing 75 minutes. And even with the 5 kilograms payload, the flying time is also reaching the 45, which is a quite nice, a quite good record for such size octocopter. Okay, so uh, you know, we have the history of using the octocopter for survey because it can offer you a very good safety because uh, when in case, in case with a very small percentage, uh, uh, in case of an uh, accident happened, and uh, if one propeller, uh, one mountain stopped running, the whole octocopter system is still able to land safely. So it's different from the quadcopter or from the hexacopter. The octocopter is my favorite. So uh, a lot of uh, good design and uh, good details I want to share with you. You can see here on the side, it has totally five fans. So this is a uh, why we want to use so many fans for cooling? Because we want to uh, make the Naga Pro's uh, environmental resistance very high. Uh, you can use it in a temperature range up to 50 degrees to minus 25 degrees. And uh, with the help of the five fans and also the ventilation holes and uh, here and here, and uh, uh, it can give the inner ESC or the battery a very good cooling uh, environment. So the total cooling is very, very good. You can use it in very hot place and even in a very cold place. So for the flight system, we are using the Cube Orange, which uh, has the ADSB system uh, to avoid the real planes and also the HER3 here. The HER3 GPS and also compass component and uh, you can also choose to use RTK to give it a centimeter level positioning if you are using it for the survey. Landing gear on the Nega Pro is also a highlight. And uh, if you are loading a small, small gimbal camera or mapping camera, uh, you want a small clearance from the ground, you can give it uh, like this way. And also if you are loading something tall and thin, you can uh, adjust the landing gear to the taller position and taller position, so have a good clearance from the ground. And in case you are loading a quite a big object or camera and you don't want any interference from the landing gear, you can even use, <laughs> maybe you, you need to carry it in a, your hand and uh, launch it, and, but the whole, uh, there's a no uh, interference from the landing gear. You, you won't see any landing gear in your camera. So the adjustable landing gear is a very, very interesting thing. Uh, so next, I want to show you how to fold it. Because uh, although the Nega Pro is using the 22 propeller and the, the motors, and the unfolded size is still big, and you cannot take it around easily. So now I'm going to show you how to fold it. Actually, it's quite easy, uh, starting from the propeller here. Uh, let me turn it around, and you may see 
four green locks. Just easily by uh, turn turn it uh, anti-clockwise and counterclockwise, actually. So you can you can fold it in this way. So the size can be very small and going to finish uh, this part. Hope you can see this. Yes. So, Kels is um, a octocopter with the coaxial motor. So I don't suggest you to use the, those uh, quick attach on the propellers. Just use the screws to tighten them. And uh, after you remove the propellers, the size will be this small. You can put it in a carrying box, including your battery and also your radio and everything in a not small in a in a medium sized box. Okay. After we unfold the arm, uh, just simply move this small lock and turn clockwise the green lock to lock it. The three turns should be enough. So also I want to say that uh, Naga Pro has a uh, quite tremendous big power due to its the eight very high efficiency motors. And also you can see LED design very thin. The body is very thin. So the front air resistance is small. So the flying speed and also the flying efficiency is also very good. Okay, so you may care about how to mount the battery. It's quite interesting that uh, it's the first time we design something similar that to uh, put the battery not on one surface, but let me show you. So you can see here we have a quite big battery loading place. Uh, we can put in two batteries like this. This is the lithium-ion battery, uh, which is the 28,000 milliamp, and together we used uh, two of them. Each of them is uh, 7S, and together we can, the voltage can reach uh, 14S. So why 14S? And 14S can give the Mega Pro a very good power, and uh, at the same time, very good efficiency. So that's why we can reach such a long flight time, up to 75 minutes. So uh, let me show you an already done example of loading the batteries. Let's have a close look uh, on the battery loading place. Uh, you can see the battery a loading place has uh, many openings. The one way is to give it a very low weight inside and also for the ventilation, for the cooling. Uh, if you look closely, you can see the inner cooling fans. Uh, totally, there are five fans. And also the battery has these small openings on the side. And uh, if, you, if we put the battery in and the inner cooling system can take out the heat coming from the battery and on ESC and uh, uh, reduce the total temperature of the whole system. So that's why we can use it in under a temperature of uh, 50 degree. So I'm going to show you how to put in the battery. So like this, you can see it's a quite interesting design and uh, we give the battery the, such a good place and we can put in two batteries at the same time. Okay, and we connect the plug. Uh, the plug we are using the anti-spark plug, so no spark. Yeah. So you may notice the Nike Pro has the four navigation LED and two Red LED in indicates the front and the two green LED indicates the tail. So very easy to uh, distinguish this uh, guy in the air. And also the LEDs can be remotely controlled by using our MX-16 all-in-one ground station. And uh, we are using the three station, uh, three stage switch to control it. Now the slow flash, the fast flash, and off if you want to turn off it. So yeah, 
yeah, you may be quite familiar with this navigation light mode. Uh, okay, turn it around. So if you like this machine, like this Nega Pro, we are offering two sets. And uh, one set is for the survey, and the other one is for the inspection. Now we are showing you an example of the inspection combo. And here we have a camera loaded, and also if you want to load a camera, and it's also very easy for survey, we have made adapter for loading other cameras or gimbal and cameras by using this adapter. And uh, later I, I can show you how to quickly swipe the pay, uh, payload. And then uh, this one for inspection, the IMAX 16 is, uh, features the 10 kilograms uh, range for the video and the control and data. So it's very easy. And uh, also you, if you want more range and also uh, use more range for, for survey and the mapping. We are also offering this combo by using a here link and also different type of uh, mapping cameras, including this uh, Map02 and also the A7R or A7R2. And also uh, there's uh, um, a lot of options for uh, the optic cameras, including four cameras for the three modeling of the ground. Okay, so I can show you how to, how to swipe the payload. So simply by pressing this button, we can remove this payload. There are more options uh, by using the same plug and the same quick detach. So we can simply mount this small camera on it. Still the quick detach type. Okay. There's also an increasing need on the market who required a delivery box, and here it is. And we actually designed a delivery box, especially designed for the Naga series. And now it's connected to the Naga, and uh, it's a quick detach type, simply by uh, turn on this small switch, and uh, we can uh, remove it like this. So very easy. Uh, Okay, so in case you have something to deliver in, in emergency, uh, you can ask us to uh, get this uh, very nice delivery box and it's also made of carbon fiber. And if you want to load something inside, it's uh, really, really easy. Just uh, open, put in something, close. And you can remotely control, this is the opening door. Uh, you can remotely control uh, this servo to open the bottom of the box and drop thing in, uh, at the destination. And uh, uh, the whole process can be, can be programmed and in the flight control. So the whole process could be automatic or manually. And Apart from those uh, applications like survey, inspection, surveillance, and something else we have already described, and we also accept the customization. And let me show you an example of our heavily customized Naga Pro. So apart from the other thing I have described, the other applications that the Naga Pro and Naga can do, and we can also offer you a deep customization service. And this is something like deep customized. And uh, we painted it green. And uh, also we make a specialized landing gear, strong one, and also a quite big uh, deploy box. So uh, you can see the inner size of it. OK, let's open it. So it is, uh, can be used for deploy something like a very big but not heavy, like food, clothes, or emergency uh, items, or first aid things. And uh, it's quite suitable. But it's not like a uh, standard design. So we customized and we changed design and just want to meet 
the requirement of the customers. So if you like the Naga Pro or Naga, and uh, but if you need a different kinds of payload, then just uh, contact our sales and uh, we can meet your requirement. Hey guys, this is the newly released the Naga and Naga Pro series, the quadcopter and also the octocopter. I like the Naga Pro very much due to its very good safety, efficiency, and the flying time. The net weight of Naga is uh, Naga Pro is only four kilograms, with the maximum flying weight up to fifteen kilograms. Also, the maximum flying time reaching seventy-five. And this is all the great data, great numbers. And uh, if you also like Naga and Naga. Pro, you can go to our website, which is the foxtechip.com. And you can also welcome to see our social medias like the uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and the Twitter to see more up-to-date news. I'm Jack from Foxtech, and I hope to see you in the next video.